And you wonder why y'all can't do anything for yourselves. Y'all here, focus on women. Focus on other things. Getting self-validations with earth, other things, like with women, what people think about. And you're not successful because you weren't about other things. What's going on, y'all? It's here. Eat with Patrick Blackman. This is what we have here today. We got grapes, we got strawberries, we got green apples, and you know I love my damn peanut butter. So you guys, you see, I'm always about the protein, eating better, healthy living, man. If you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead and click on that subscribe button, like and share. Uh, man, we got a lot of things we need to talk about, and it's all about talking about fellas is getting us back with our purpose i think that's like the main focus right now you get what i mean because i feel like we get caught up with our society and not really focus on the main purpose our goal the things that is going to make us better and it's going to make us attract the woman that we really want it doesn't matter if you want to have main chicks, side chicks, plenty of women. It doesn't matter if we focus on the goal. That will come. Believe me. But you don't want to neglect other things, other skill sets. You get what I mean? So we're going to get this show on the road. Amen. First off. I want to say thank you guys, y'all fellas, for supporting me, showing me some love. Also, I got ladies in this room, too, as well, showing me some love. Mm. I'm going to tell y'all a little trick. When you go to the farmer's market and... If you guys can tell, and if you look at my previous videos from Czech Republic, these are the real strawberries. Real talk. Mm. I'm going to, uh, slap some peanut butter on my apples man fellas I'm here to help y'all out I'm really here to help y'all out um, because I feel like this is my testimony you feel me like I've been into this I've been into this actual space of like understanding the self improvement and actually diving in so much more into it ever since I went to Czech Republic. Mm. A lot of shit changed for me, bro. Um being here and literally putting myself to experience, experimenting a lot more things. And the reason why I said that I got the game all fucked up. Trust me, fellas, I got the game all fucked up. I sit here not a lot about silly bullshit that feeling like, oh, man, women don't understand certain things about men or we have to lie to these women just to sleep with other women. And that was some beta shit that I've done. Check me out. Real talk. I found out when I was in Czech Republic and I was messing with this girl and I told my ex and 
you probably was like, bro, why you tell your ex for? Well, because I was still messing around with my ex, obviously. So I told my ex, I told Shorty that I was messing with, and I was messing with another girl. So I found out telling the truth will set you free. Yeah, you can have plenty of more women. Plenty more. So much more. And how that came about is, one, when I was living out there, one girl saw me on, you know, I was playing on a football team, obviously on the Czech Republic. And I met this other girl because I was going to Prague. Prague is a major city in Czech Republic, right? So I mean the, the most choosing signals ever. I was minding my business. I was going there to get my hair cut, look good, whatever. Get back because I had an audition I had to do. Cool. So she found me on Instagram because, you know, on Geotag, when you tag yourself in Geotag on the story, uh, Shorty found me on there and she's like, yo, I think you were so handsome, blah, blah, blah. And I already told her off rip. Like, hey, I mess around with this girl and I'm just letting you know because I respect you. And... As long as you know what's, what's the play, what's the rule, I'm only going to be here for a couple of days, and it's just what it is. Mm. And she was cool with it. She was so cool with it, bro. Besides the point, even though I didn't pay them not much at- no, no attention, I was focused on me, and I was really harnessing my energy of winning the championship and what I'm saying is to you guys the more you focus on yourself the more that you self improve with yourself by looks maxing by getting your teeth wider by working out by doing the most things that you need to do for yourself, they will come. Real talk, they will come. It's so funny because I'm still, I'm in this journey. I ain't, I'm not satisfied, bro. I look at myself in the mirror and I was like, damn, I look handsome as fuck, bro. And I know that. And I, look, I am the prize. I am the fucking prize. You get what I mean? But I'm not there yet. I'm always thinking about how can I get myself better? What I need to do to improve? Well, I got to get my bread up. I'm going to invest my money the right way to get my bread up. Or, and, and I'm like, yo, I got to understand my wants and needs. How can I gather all my money together to bring me that financial freedom that I want? And these are the things that you guys got to think about. We got to think about what should I spend and not to for my wants and needs. So that means if I had to stop eating out and learn how to cook, I'm going to do that. Because I got to understand that I got to save more money to make me $100,000 a year or $200,000 a year. It's all about that, bro. And the more that you find that sweet spot of how you spend your money, you're golden, bro. You're golden. And by saying like, yo, I want to attract, I want to attract this and I want to attract that. Yeah, you want to attract all these women. But you can't chase them, bro. 
You really can't. You out here chasing them, they run away from you. I'm gonna tell you another story. Verbatim. There's one girl in Czech Republic. She was so, she was bad. I ain't gonna lie, she was bad. And I was hit her up not too many times. I wouldn't hit her up constantly. Obviously, she knows she was full of herself. She knows she would look good. She knows all that. But the thing is, I wanted to do an eating show with her. And she was like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm down to do an eating show with you, this and that. She's like, cool. She have her parents that lives out where I stay at. I was like, all right, cool. But she told me she's going out of town. She will be back and we can do this eating show. All right, cool. This is where I went wrong. Every other week, I would hit her up just to check in and tap in and see if she wanted to do it. Now... I think that was the wrong fucking move that I had ever done in my whole entire life. Because all she was looking for is validation. She knows she looked good. She knows she looked good and everything. Keep on doing it every time, every time. I'm always the one to hit her up. And... trying to have side conversations this and that on on IG I was like so pissed with myself bro it's what happened fellas before I was going I was heading to uh, training and uh, once I got to training she was texting me before and she's like hey I'm going to be in your city. And I was like, ah, right, cool. She's like, um, yeah, I'm gonna be in your city, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna be hanging out with my girls because she have a wedding. And then after that, I'm gonna come hang out with you and then we can actually do this eating show. I'm like, ah, right, cool. A couple of days later, she's in my city, right? And then, I was like, ah, right, cool, we gonna hang out. And, um, we gonna do this eating show. Now she don't want to do the eating show. And then a couple of days after that, she was like, "Yeah, uh, do you have a friend with my friend?" I'm like, bruh, why the fuck? I don't know nobody here. She talking about bringing a football team, one of my football players, as right. That showed me all signs that she was all she was looking for was validation. Oh, validation. She wanted me to waste my energy. To give her validation that she wants. Yes, she's hot. But in the standards of how she is as a person. Nah, I'm not giving my I'm not giving her my attention anymore. So when I saw that happen. I had to pull away. I had to realize, yeah, I wanted to fuck her. And I had to pull all my attentions away for somebody that's highly interested in me and that going to listen to me and obey me. You feel what I'm saying? So, I did that. I even stopped. Recently now, I stopped looking at people's stories. I don't even do that no more. No disrespect to people that I fucks with. It's nothing against them. It's for me. Like, I stopped doing that because I had to worry about me. You get what I mean? But if you're on my feed and I like your picture, I like your picture, I would comment. But I'm not going to look at anybody's stories. Uh, during the past, I saw she was looking at my story. She was trying to 
seek my validation. She would change her picture on WhatsApp every time. I'm like, yo, this chick is different, bro. She is like, want that attention from me because I was giving her that attention from before. Now I didn't, I didn't do that anymore. So that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Focus on your purpose. Don't focus on any women. Obviously, you still want to work on the skills when a woman approach you or a cold approach anything like a woman or a man, whatever you whatever you're into or if you're doing a business meeting, you want to look approachable. You don't want to have a rest bitching face because I know I have a rest bitching face at times. But <clears throat> I've been working on myself to understand that to communicate with people or to meet new people, you have to do all these things to be a well-rounded man. So these things is really important and it's the game of life is life. It's like you're playing Sims. Every time you level up, you level up on your conversation skills, you level up on talking to women, you level up on cooking, your cooking itself, you level up in the gym, you level up on everything else. So everything you want to do, you want to be well-rounded. You don't want to focus on your purpose so much that you're lacking on communication skills with women, uh, communication skills with other people, with friends and everything, or lacking in the gym, not working out. You want to be well-rounded. Lacking on your finances, you don't want to do that either. So these are the things that you guys got to be really mindful to put in the work and all these things so you can be the best man that you could possibly be and deliver your S, your sexual market value. Because that is what a woman is going to see. That is what a woman is going to see. You understand? But that's why I'll tell y'all. Take what I told you guys. Understand that the more you focus on your vision and being well-rounded, that's the best. That's going to be the best version of yourself. You hear me? Until next time, y'all.